Good day everyone, this is Ernie Kish with the Kish Cash Fund and we're looking at uh, September the 18th, the Tuesday. Uh, we're looking at our Sol chart. Um, we've had some success with Sol and Kurtz. So we're, um, we've got a couple of things that uh, we'd be more than happy to share some of our ideas with our friends out there. Um, so when we got into this, this Sol chart, we were looking at this thing uh, bottom fishing and uh, it, 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 it hit its bottom like down in through here so we said ah okay and we watched in and you know came back up to a 200 day moving average here and then decided that to go back south and we were watching it come down and we were saying you know uh, to make the story short um, we were looking at uh, this candle in through here. We said that's a shooting star. It's possible it might might do something um, uh, because uh, we were saying, you know, is this the support channel in through here? Is it coming back down? Is it going to bounce off of that? Well, as you can see, it came down down here. So we, anyway, we got in at a dollar forty three, got stopped out at a dollar thirty five. It came down to a, a low here of a dollar thirty one. The, um, and then the following day, actually, as in we got in over here on a different presentation, but it was actually the following day we got back in at a dollar thirty-five because of the the hammer pattern here. I love the candlestick patterns. Um, there's mountain charts. There's a, there's other charts out there, um, but we can get into you know the why of candlesticks. Uh, I love the candlesticks. They're they're quite easy to to fathom. Uh, you can read the book uh, by Stephen uh, Nielsen on, you know, the candlestick charting. That's great. And then, of course, Tony Turner speaks about candlesticks also. But you can really get into the, the nitty-gritty of uh, candlestick charting, uh, understanding them uh, by reading Steve's book. But, again, all you have to really know uh, are a few things in order to stay ahead, uh, like, you know, where's your support, where's your resistance on your stock that you're trading and stuff like that. So, and we were looking for some support uh, at a dollar forty-three, and we didn't find it. However, we found it somewhere in here in that dollar thirty-one-ish, thirty-five-ish range. And then, of course, look what happened. Now, of course, we sold at a dollar and a half. You know, just to be a little on the conservative side, uh, it came up though all the way up, up, up. You know, like a dollar sixty-ish. And then, of course, look at this. It's it's kind of like you know, am I forming? you know um, a bit of this you know this triangle pattern here you know and it's possible however we've had like a one two three four day rise already um, this candle here we said yeah let's get into it because it was like a shooting star pattern but unfortunately you have to be really careful with your patterns as to where they are in your charts this one's on the way up this one's high. This already had, you know, like a, a four-day run of, you know, I, I went up. So usually after three, four days, things get tired and they and they start dropping off. So um, even though this was a little bit of a triangle here, I would say like, oh, no, I ain't going to go long on that thing uh, for sure. Because, again, it, it's had its rise. Um, it's got a shooting, shooting star, but it's at more of a, t a, a, a high area up here. You know, compared to where this thing has been, and then of course, look what happened. You know, it came down. It uh, uh, opened up even lower this morning, uh, at the uh, uh, below its 50-day uh, moving average, which was just the yellow line here. But then it decides to say, "Oh, I found my new support in that you know that 142.43 range." And it decided to go up and then and then comes back down today. T today was not a good day to to get into anything long anyway. I mean the the, the trend is is uh, much over one. So I mean things are being sold off today. The spider was down a little bit also. So you know you would be bucking a trend for the day if you if you uh, you know went long on something. Uh, those who those found the support here and said I'm I'm going to go ahead. And look at this because we found some support and then, you know, wherever you got out, you know, today, I think is, is a good idea. Tomorrow on this thing, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, by the looks of the candles, it, it's not like strong. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to stay in overnight on, a, on something like this. 
so anyway, I mean, we hadn't gotten back into Seoul since uh, since we got out here. Anyway, so we were kind of just, you know, we're just watching it and saying, you know, if we were still in, what would happen if we were out? Or, you know, um, we're glad we're out. We're not going to get back in. And these are the reasons why. Okay. So that's your soul trade. Uh, if y'all just hang on with me, I'll bring up another chart and we'll, we'll talk about that. All right, here's a chart of our Kirk's trade. And of course, um, we've uh, enjoyed uh, playing this because it's, you know, a, a reasonable amount. You can buy 10,000 shares for, you know, a couple thousand dollars, or 10,000, but a thousand shares for a couple thousand dollars or so. Um, but again, we we're, we kind of like look for our you know ascending triangles and and whatnot. And uh, oh, we put, got a number of Fibonacci um, lines put in here and and, and all. So let, let's just uh, describe what's going on with Kirk's. We we it, it hit its bottom, you know, uh, a while back and went up a little bit. Uh, you know, the spot was like around a dollar twenty-six, and then it went back up a little bit, and then the, the two-ish range, and you come back down, and and it hits this uh, this you know sixty-one point eight percent Fibonacci here with a hammer. And we, you know, let's just watch it at that point. I mean, that's that might be a good place to get in for a day or two, and and then you know she gets up and uh, she goes sideways a little bit, and you know, dude, and then she does you know one of these and and then you know there's some profit taking in here but she's found she's come up she's come up the, the, the steps right step number one right here step number two we're finding some support here you see that it didn't come back down here it stayed above this Fibonacci line here so now this which was resistance at one point back here now becomes support just like Tony Turner would explain and then we come up here oh my god look at what's going on here between these Fibonacci bands aren't they awesome I didn't put these in you know like afterwards these were there you know so look at what's going on um, we don't come back down after we've we've you know said adios machacho let's let's go above this line look at that we really don't come back down we test it right here just for you know a moment in time and then it's like head back on up though um let's point out some you know we've had some ups and rises and then at what point you know might you want to get in on uh, on kirk's here at, at one point in time well i think back here wasn't a bad place actually you know get in here with a nice stop because here's your triangle you know yeah nice triangle there and then of course it, it did go up on this day and then it formed another one real quick I would get out here yay we made some money and then we're watching it and we're saying oh my god look at look at this doji candle right here we understand what a doji is that means I'm either gonna go up or down probably on the on the day after and what did uh, what did uh, what what do we got forming here? We got another ascending triangle. That usually means like on and up. Let's buy that with with a stop uh, and see what happens. Well, it didn't go south, so it only went up. Okay, and those who wanted to hang on to it for another day or get out here, and then buy back in here, and then get out here. And then watch it. Now this is the candle where we're saying like uh, turnover time, you know, definite turnover time. Um, now we're going sideways. Are we going to form another triangle here? I don't know. Look at how far we've come though. We've come up from a, a number of Fibonacci bands here. Uh, we've come up past our 50-day moving average. We've come up past our 20-day moving average. And now we've come back up to our 200-day uh, moving average there. We've actually crossed it, and then we're coming back down. Um, if you and I were in a marathon race, wouldn't we be getting tired at this point? Um, somebody can hit us with the old Nas and send us a little bit higher, but, I mean, my goodness, everybody. Um, let's, uh, 
let's not go long on this thing when we're at nosebleeds uh, heights right now on this thing so to speak I mean who knows anything can happen but just reading the signs you know if you were to look at signs going on so we hope that uh, we all like you know bought in at the the right times here and the right times to buy in uh, of course we're like here and then you know uh, I mean uh, here definitely and then get out here and then buy back in here and then get out somewhere in through here um, and now we're like waiting for the next uh, you know it might come back down here and touch this thing here and we can buy back in and and, uh, and ride it back up because it looks like it's going in this direction Fo you know following uh, re re regarding the ma major market you know if um, I mean we all have to be aware that um, there's countries out there including us that have very high debt so um, anything can happen somebody can call a marker in somebody can, can not get financed you know either before or after the market opens or, or somewhere during the market there can be a news flash about you know something blew up somewhere you know some economic thing happened and then of course the markets can say like oh maybe I'll take my money out and then it's like well maybe I'll take my money out and then everybody starts taking their money out and then you know even Kirk's at two dollars and forty cents can end up at twenty cents at the end of one crazy day like that so can that happen yeah sure that can happen just be aware that you know that's a possibility and um, you know just hang on then you know like don't don't be uh, don't be uh, thinking that you know that it may not happen you know that type um, all right let me find out what we're what we're gonna try to do next here and I will get it done hang on just a second uh, find my recording device here and go with it okay oh it's over here it's hiding over here now okay there we go let me just bring that back up and hit the old pause button okay let's take a look at the uh, the spider right now as to some of the reasons why we've you know had some uh, success with um, you know Sol and Kirk's going in the direction that they are going in rather than in you know in a major opposite direction and here's a picture of the spider and as we can see the spiders had some success in going up um, long time kinda like going sideways a little bit here but you know going in that direction and then we had you know a bit of a rise here talking about our triangles etc um, I mean everybody has them here's one right for the spider right here and then of course look at this okay and then of course we're we're doing this stuff so um, I think the spiders a little on the high side but you know what do I know um, but you know it's uh, if you're if you're looking at stocks you know look at your other major indices and and um, and things and whatnot um, one of the things that I have learned uh, that I love about trading in the stock market is I also love gardening and stock market and gardening are are, uh, are very much the same what I learn in gardening I can apply to the stock market what I learn in the stock market I can apply to gardening and, and life in general but um, you'll hear uh, the, the great traders and whatnot, uh, Jesse Livermore and his likes will say, you know, don't buck a trend, you know. It, uh, so uh, if you are going long, make sure that your 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 indices are, are going up, most of them, you know, your major ones. Uh, if you're shorting the market, then, you know, make sure that, you know, thing, you know things in general are falling. Um, and I had learned and I, I just learned this uh, through ex my own experience is that I planted my garden uh, in the desert southwest uh, in the summertime because I was used to you know doing that in the northeast you know or spring whatever and um, so I got a little bit of a late start and nothing grew I mean stuff came up and then went flat it just did not grow whatsoever and then I had read later on uh, after I picked up a, a book about gardening in, gardening in, in the desert southwest that uh, things don't grow well when 
when you know when you have a hundred degrees or, or more uh, they just don't they don't do it okay uh, if you were already established with roots so I just put the seeds in the ground imagine that and then said pray you know say okay why isn't my garden coming out it's a hundred degrees I'm watering you you got plenty of Sun you know what's going on it's like no I'm too hot as that's what was happening so what I'm trying to explain is there's times that you when you enter a trade it might not it might not be the right time you know you might be bucking a trend like is you might be gardening in the desert southwest in the summertime and then you're going to wonder like why isn't my trade working out well um it that's it's not going to you know and um, so the more you know you know uh and go ahead and grab somebody's book and and take a look at it and uh you'll save yourself some gardening time all right all right, God bless. Hang on, let's bring up another chart. All right, we're looking at the PPHM, the Peregrine Pharmaceutical chart. Um, she's had a nice rise, as you can see, uh, from you know, like the, the the ninety cent range, the dollar range, back this over here. Um, and you know, like just looks like a little bit of a snaky thing coming up here, like this. Um, but to, let's just point out something major going on right here with this thing. Um, here we got going sideways. Be really careful on this one. But um, look at what we've got. I just wanted to point that out. So don't go buying the, you know, selling the farm or anything on this thing. But uh, uh, let's see, three dollars and ninety cents looks like support here. And um, that is an ascending triangle. Uh, if we were to put an order to get in on that, uh, I think somewhere around, oh, looking at the chart in general, somewhere around four dollars. But I'd have to be taking a look at the at my day trade on that. I think that's that's kind of like a, a possible day trade, or with a few hundred shares. I would take uh, try to get in around four four and a quarter and then have my stop around uh, definitely only 20 cents less than where I get in so I want to make sure that if I'm gonna go long on this thing for um, a period of time uh, of two or three days that I would uh, make sure that I want to get in on this thing at a uh, at a decent price just before you had this candle here look at this doji signal right here so that means I am either going up or down uh, it went down it touched on the following day it it uh, hit its uh, two, uh, 20 day moving average and then decided to uh, just have a wonderful day you know and then the following days after that it's like huh this is just really an interesting pattern for sure um, a bright note pattern something definitely to watch okay so we're watching PPHM for an opportunity I would like to uh, point out another opportunity that I possibly discovered here and this is AMD a wonderful company uh, it's trading um, at its bottom right now uh, as you can see uh, with the, the 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 pattern that that this ha is having, so this is the long term. As you can see, we've got a lot of months in here, and goes back in fact back down to 2000, the end of 2010, way back here. You know all this stuff, uh, all of 2011. What's happened? Um, and then it's like, uh, okay, I think I'm going to go up a little bit. And then it's like, oh, I, I dove down here. And is this the bottom? You know, is that the bottom? Well, we will see. Okay, let's bring up uh, another uh, chart of uh, AMD over the last few days. All right, what did we discover here with AMD, if anything? Well, again, if we're, if we're looking at stuff that might be on the bottom and might be like bouncing off of that, that area and coming back up, um, maybe AMD might be might be the one. Now I we had looked at ascending triangles and what they do they go up right. 
Well, what do descending triangles do? Well, they go down, okay? So here's an example of a descending triangle right here, okay? Where I am heading in the south direction, okay? And what do we do? We, we do go south on that thing, okay? And now, are there any signs that this thing might be getting turned around? And it's like, yeah, yeah, we've got something here. Uh, let's see, we're kind of near the bottom, and, and here's a hammer. So, I don't know, do we buy in here? Well, I, we could. And if we did, we said, um, well, it wasn't that one, you know. And then the following day, we said, ah, oh, it's not, you know, I don't know if we're in and out of, you know, maybe we got stopped out, you know, by the time of that one there. But this, here's a spinning top. This means indecision. And we are kind of like, you know, how far can this thing go? Well, it can go lower. You know, it's the beginning to stall on the, on the south side a little bit. It, it looks that way. It looks that way, doesn't it? And then we're, you know, we're like, the following day, we're, we had an up day, and then the day after that, we said, nah, you know, the trailer said, nah, and then look at the shooting star here, and this could mean maybe an up and comments, and look at what we did a little bit, oh, well, that's worth, worth watching then, I don't know if we want to get in on that at that time, but gee, isn't that worth watching, and uh, volume as an indicator, okay, here's our volume, standard, across the board not too much but enough and geez we've got an increase in volume here you know it comes back down this way but we've got like we've got some increase in volume you know what I mean especially today on this candle here a shooting star candle you know near the bottom near your bottom support you know is this a triangle no, it's a dolphin. <laughs> okay, um, we're having fun with this, but it's, doesn't this make you go like, oh my God, let's watch AMD because there might be an opportunity here. Um, the opportunity is, uh, for going long on AMD with some stops and looking at the Greek situation and everything to make sure that you don't just get in and forget about stuff is here you've got an increase in volume. That is a sign that something's going to happen one way or the other. Since we're kind of like on the bottom, uh, we might be on our on our way back up. But this candle here excites me a lot today because we were on our way back back up, and then you know this whole fiasco happens, and it's just like, oh man, you know this thing is either going to go up or down, and if it goes down, I can take, I'll, I'll I get stopped out, yeah, but you know if this thing does go up. Um, well, then you've made some money, haven't you? You know what I mean? And it, it's it's exciting to see and say that the 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 room for probability that this will think thing will will uh, go up a little bit higher than than it goes down lower is the probability is there. Again, looking at the old you know casino thing, um, I would I would think that. Um, AMD is uh, definitely something to continue to watch. Uh, where I would get into it tomorrow depends on uh, what it is actually doing tomorrow. But can you see what I'm talking about? You know, you got the beginning of your triangle here, followed by, you know, well, I don't know, coming down. But here's this uh, shooting star near your bottom with an increase in volume and it's saying look at me definitely look at me we're going to be watching that one for sure um gave us some things to think about um so i hope that you're all doing well out there um we're going to try to get our book done here shortly um the psychology of the trade we're going we are having you know lots of fun doing that so again god bless have a wonderful day catch you later